Hello, everyone. I'm going to wait for a few people to sign on. Hello, hello. If you guys can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Ugh, I got dirt on my face. All right, I think I see a few people on. Um, oh, good. I, yes, good. There's people here. Okay. All right, hey, so I'm back again. Um, I just wanted to say hi and give an update on everybody. Um, I am here with Mr. Rocky Boy um, and Lewis and Miss Tyra. Um, so I just wanted to give an update on Rocky. Um, Ashley made me aware of a few things with Rocky in the last few days. Um, as you guys know, when we first rescued him, um, he had a massive seven pound tumor on his leg. Um, and we had that removed and it wasn't cancerous and everything. So yay for that. Um, however, um, I'm going to flip this around. Um, he's created quite a den over here. Um, Brock, can you come here for a sec? So Rocky, and he knows what I'm talking about now. Are you going to hide it? You're going to hide it, aren't you? Oh, come on, dude. So, um, he is, um, can I, can I show everybody, please? Can we show everybody what's going on? Um, he's got a little thing growing back. Um, and that means that we're going to have to do surgery again. Now, obviously it's not as extreme as the seven pound mass that was on him before. However, um, we need to do surgery again. So that's kind of a problem. Um, hey, Lewis. <laughs> it's like, let me in. You want to come in? Come here, baby. This cat, he is like literally fearless. Come on. Come say hi. You going to come in? Come on. You coming or not? No? All right. So anyway, back to Rocky. So, oh, and by the way, these two absolutely love cats. They could care less. Um, but, Lewis, come on. Um, so yeah, so Rocky has this thing growing on his leg again, and I wish, can you, can I, can I, can you move your, uh, can you get up? Can you sit up? Come on, sit up, dude. Come on, sit up. Come on, up. Oh, really? He's going to do this to me now. Um, it's growing on this leg, and of course he's hiding it from me because I'm trying to do a video. Um, and he's not going to get up. How about I pet you so much that you don't want me to? How about that? Um, come on. Turn this way, dude. Ugh. Really? Um, all right. Well, he doesn't want me to, <laughs> he doesn't want me to show anybody. Um, but it's about this big now. Um, it's not huge, but obviously it's a fast growing deal. I just opened the door for you, Lewis. Um, so we have to figure out what we're going to do in terms of surgery. Um, we did talk to the doctor and he did think that because it was so huge and it was such a bloody mess when we went in there, um, there may have been like a little piece of the cells that he didn't get on the first round. Um, so that obviously it's going to be a much smaller surgery if we hit it hard, um, and get all those cells out in that area. Um, and like I said before, you know, this tumor was covering so much of his legs that, um, you know, oh, see, there we go. You can see it now. See, there it is. Good boy, Rock. Can I show everybody? So you can see it kind of coming back. Um, and like I said, it's not cancerous. It's just a very weird growth. You're fine, baby. It's okay. Come on. You're fine. Come on. Don't, why do you think it's going to get hurt? You're okay, baby. Okay, so there we go. So this whole area was cut here last time. Um, and now it's coming back in this section. This part's healed, but, you know, he's got the scar. And then um, he's got that growth coming back. So Ashley said that it, it ruptured a few days ago and was bleeding. Um, let's see. So we need to get this section redone. Um, that side is actually just scar. 
from the last surgery because it was about an incision about, let me zoom back out here. The incision was about that long. So um, we're gonna need to cut this section again. So we're gonna need to do a fundraiser. Um, I'm going to do a link on this post um, because with videos and live videos, I can't do like a fundraiser button. So I will do a link to Venmo. If you would like to donate for Rocky, um, I will put the Venmo and the quick pay and you can just um, memo it Rocky. Um, I don't know how much the surgery is gonna be just yet. Um, obviously being a large dog and the sedation everything it'll be i'm guessing anywhere from five to seven hundred dollars um to take it off so i will keep everyone posted but uh we will post this we're gonna try and get them in as soon as possible so that we catch it while it's small um and if we are good and we hammer it out really hard now and and get all of those cells out um like i said it's not cancerous it's it's just a fast growing weird tumor um so I'm hoping that uh, we will get it and get rid of it fully this time. Um, and like I said, the first time we did it, it was so massive that, um, you know, we had to go work around a lot of blood and mess. So um, I think now that it's a lot smaller, it won't be quite as, um, you know, veiny and messy. So yeah, um, on another note, um, I wanted to talk about this chick right here, Miss Isha. Oh, the baby, Ishi, 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 Ishi. So Isha is here by herself. All of her puppies have been adopted um, and she needs a forever home. Um, this dog is the epitome of the gentle giant. Um, you can see she's just wagging her tail, happy as a clam. Oh, baby girl. Um, and she really, really needs a home. So if you guys or anyone is looking for like the perfect adult dog. Um, also we have Rose over here. She just got spayed yesterday. So she's actually available for adoption now. Ashley told me that she is phenomenal in the car. Like her, she lives to, um, go for car rides. So if you are wanting a road trip dog, come here. Rose, come here. She's barking at my mom's dogs. So they're back there. Rose, come here. Um, if you're looking for a road trip dog, this dog is perfect for you. Also, Wheezy, Sarah, and Johnny B have not gotten a single application yet. Um, these dogs are the sweetest babies in the world. Um, the other three, four, have gotten applications. Um, <laughs> but, uh, oh, you're feeling better? She was not feeling good this morning. Her spay was sore, but now she's feeling good. Um, but yeah, Wheezy, Johnny B, and uh, Sarah are all looking for forever homes. Um, they're the lab looking ones, the brown, the black ones. And Ashley said they're just the sweetest puppies in the world. They're so mellow and gentle and loving and amazing. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And there's JJ. Hi, JJ. But yeah, these guys are looking for forever homes. So please spread the word about them. Wheezy, JJ, and or Wheezy, Topper, and um, Johnny B. Okay, um, yeah, and Pope's leaving, right, Pope? Pope's going home, so Pope's adopted, but that may change. Who knows? And then we put Topper in here because Topper needed to go with Isha because Isha's very lonely. So we put Topper in here because Topper is the biggest of the siblings and he's kind of bossy so he's in with ishi isha and that is not a dead skunk it is a toy <laughs> um isha isha she's in the air conditioning isha baby girl isha hi honey can you say hi to everybody so she's as you can see um not her puppy she's great with other dogs she doesn't like cats so we did learn that she doesn't like cats um, but she is wonderful with other dogs of all sizes. So she will be fine with just about anybody. Um, so I think that's it. Hi, Chopper. Brrr, hi. Hi, little monster. Oh. So that's it for now. Um, please get your applications in if you are interested in a dog. Um, I'm just trying to, sorry, I can't see. Um, 
please fill out an application. Um, we still have some amazing dogs. And we still have the other litter. Um, we've got all the beach litter, Huntington and um, Carlsbad and Laguna and Malibu and um, what's the last one? Carmel. So get your applications in. They're really, really sweet puppies. They're living with kids. They're living with other dogs. They're fabulous. Those are the boxer shepherds. So get your apps in for them. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you later.